All right, guess where we are? Guess where we are? We are sitting outside our fertility clinic on transfer day. Transfer day. So we have not done a video in a while and we apologize for that. It's hard to get coordinate both of our schedules to be able to sit down and do this. Yeah. But we wanted to give you a quick uh, rundown of what's happened since our last video, which is shipping and contracts, and then to today. Which so, is transfer day. Which is transfer day. All right, so the embryos arrived at our clinic here in Frisco, so they're inside the building right now waiting for us. It's so weird. They're so close. <laughs> and uh, December 6th, and then... Um, Everything was fine. Shipping was fine. Everything was fine. And then we actually got connected with the genetic family right after that. Um, we actually did some super sleuthing and found each other on Facebook. And so we became Facebook friends. Internet. It and connects then, us all. <clears throat> and then uh, we actually FaceTime with them. And we're so excited to be connected to them. Yeah. And they're so cool and great. And we just are crazy about them. So that was really fun uh, that we get to share this experience with them. And then we had Christmas, and that was good. And then uh, January, so everything like seemed for me to go really, really fast. Like once October, November, December hit, everything just like flew by. And so that was really kind of a mercy. And then so January happened, and I started taking the medicine, the estrogen tablets, and then. Once I started taking the tablets, I called our clinic and scheduled a sonogram. So they do a sonogram. So the estrogen tablets, I think, are supposed to like thicken your lining so that you prepare a good home for the embryos. And then, uh, so they do a sonogram to check the lining and make sure everything's okay. And that was actually kind of a traumatic day. Not to, like, for one thing, we, I didn't think about it and scheduled the appointment like super early in the morning. So it was like 7.30 appointment, and we live an hour and 15 minutes away. So we left at like 6 o'clock, and neither one of us are morning people. Yeah. And so I was like totally woke up on the wrong side of the bed, and I guess I was kind of stressed. And then there were just kind of some There's just some stuff we didn't know about it. Yeah, it's kind of a surprise. I went in with some expectations, like thinking, like, oh, they checked the lining, and then it's like no big deal. And then they tell us either like everything looks great, your transfer is this day, or they say, oh, you know, we'll, uh, let's keep taking the medicine or change this and then uh, we'll come back in a few days and we'll check you again. So I expected to leave knowing something was gonna happen. And I didn't know that I had to do a blood test to uh, detect progesterone to see where I was in like ovulation cycle and whatever. And so they basically said, all right, so here's your projected transfer day, but We'll do this blood test and then we'll call you later. So I went home and I was like crying and sad and yeah, we I thought was we were really going to celebrate, but it wasn't even already irritable. And then Tim was annoying to me and hashtag married. Yeah, right. And so, I mean, it ended up being fine. So it was, we were exhausted. We've got home, we were both exhausted. So we just went back to bed and just slept for a while. And then it was okay. So then Tim went to work and then I waited for the phone call and they were like, oh yeah, everything looks great. Um, you know, continue with the, the directions that I gave you at your appointment today. So um, earlier that week, so last Tuesday, so today is Thursday, the 25th, January 25th. So a week from Tuesday, um, my progesterone injections arrived, and because um, they or you order those from like a pharmacy, not like Walgreens or Walmart, like an actual like company, and then they mail them to you, and like they have to get a signature and all this stuff. So that arrived, and then they said, okay, go ahead and start taking your progesterone injections tomorrow, which was last Friday, and I was like pretty cool about it. <laughs> Shots don't really bother me that much. And, but then like everything I'd heard on the internet and people, things that people had said were like, oh my gosh, they hurt so much. Like this huge needle, make sure that you like make the injection like last several minutes. Cause like, otherwise it's really painful. Make sure that you do a heating pad and, uh, just kind of like I built it up in my mind is like, it was going to be this huge, awful, painful thing. 
And then we got the stuff and the oil wasn't nearly as thick as I thought it was going to be. And so then I was like, well, maybe it's not that big of a deal. So the first time we were doing the injections, I was like, yeah, this is going to be great. Woohoo! And then I turned around and Tim is like loading the syringe. It's a big like, needle. It is a long needle like that. I don't that. think I can do this. I and don't know. I, I don't know if I can do this. So then, and then I, I said basically the same thing because I never imagined injecting. Well, so, so, so it's a low back injection. It's like muscle right above your hip. And so I'm like laying down on the bed so he can like get to my hip and, um, or my, my low back. And I'm, I'm like, Tim, I don't think I can do this. I'm about to cry. Like I literally was like starting it's like panic. It was a panic, yeah. And I could tell he leaned forward to give me the injection. And then I could tell that he leaned back and he said, I don't think I, I can I don't, do think, this. I don't know if I can do I this. Know. And I turned around and was like, you have to do this. <laughs> <laughs> so then we got through it and it was like no big deal at all. It like barely hurt at all. It was like if I had sharp fingernails and I just pinched the skin. I mean, it feels like you're getting a shot. But it was like not any worse than that. No. So for a few days, I was like, oh, this is like no big deal. So then. It gets better. It, so the weird thing is though, so I had been heating up, like holding the uh, the vial for several minutes before so that it kind of heats up and then had a heating, pack on, heating pad on my back for a few minutes before we drew in the injections. So then I start exercising. So yesterday I'm exercising like I'm going to run, I'm walking, it's like no big deal. And then my dog and I start running and I could feel the injection sites on like both sides of my back. Like felt like I was being injected at that moment. So I'm sure at this point there's been what, like six shots, like three on each side. So like the muscles are like breaking down right there. Like they have little tiny holes in them. And so like you can feel it. So it's like, it's not unbearable. It's uncomfortable. It feels like you're being pinched, but I, it's not like I'm going to die. But so, two nights ago, we were like, oh, this is like not a big deal. I guess I probably don't need to do the heating pad before we do this. Bad decision. It wasn't my big idea. Big mistake. It was, it was her idea to do Always that. do the heating pad. It hurt really badly. It really did. It hurt and then it hurt afterwards and so, it was like whatever. So if you're going to do this, my recommendation is definitely hold the oil or hold the serum in your hands or like put it close to your body like between your legs or something um, and let it warm up and then definitely do a heating pad yeah. and then after that I kind of sit on the heating pad too some people said like knead the area but that was like really kind of sensitive first it wasn't necessary and then when it the day that it actually did hurt it hurt for Tim to touch it like right afterwards so but yeah I mean it's like not that big of a deal so injections are fine so far and then here we are i think that was it here we are now here we are on transfer day so i've been trying to eat well like i'm not doing anything super crazy diet wise um but like just trying to eat lots of eggs and lots of greens and chicken and turkey and like berries and yeah just kind of coconut oil and avocados and just not like me that. Most, mostly her. Yeah, definitely not Tim. But yeah, so I think that's it. So here we are. So we'll do another video. Yeah, we'll later. add on to this a little later. After transfer. We're here early. So, yeah. So we're sitting in the car doing this. So yeah. All right. Well, we'll let you know. Bye. Bye.